Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, my name is Arielle. I do mainly beauty, fragrance, and lifestyle vlogs here. So if that's the type of content you enjoy, I do want to invite you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. So today's going to be a get ready with me. I'm probably going to do just some light shopping and maybe go eat not sure but today is going to be a full face of black owned the face prep might not be all black owned, but the full face of makeup will definitely be black owned. so we're starting off with uh the fenty skin this is the plush pudding balm i use this one and i also use her lip oil i've washed my face already and i did a mask like a pore tightening mask from lys which is a black owned company and that's a really good mask by the way you keep it on for 15 minutes and rinse it off and you'll notice that your pores are like much tighter. I love to do that when I can before makeup. It just makes your makeup application even that much more smoother and long lasting. So we're gonna do the underpainting route. I just love how seamless it looks that way. It looks a lot more lightweight. You use a lot less foundation that way. LYS Cream Contour, which is pretty much like my go-to. And the latest Fenty Concealer, which is the Wear Even Concealer. This one's in the shade 390. And we're just gonna blend that out. This sponge is from Sonia Kashuk from Target. This one's almost dry, so it is gonna keep more coverage. Using a small angled puff, I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. Since we've done the underpainting, the cream contour and the concealer did cover most of the face, so we only need a tiny bit of foundation. Going in with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. This is a skin tint, the liquid one. The stick one is really good too, and it looks more natural, but this one gives a little bit more coverage, and I kind of like the way it looks a little bit more. It just depends on what I'm going for, so tiny bit goes a long way. And I'm just gonna apply this pretty much where everywhere the concealer meets the cream bronzer so above and below and I'm blending with my LYS foundation brush now this product isn't black on but I'm gonna add an under eye brightener just to brighten a tad bit under eye. For blush, we're gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks blush. This one's in the shade Golden Hour. It's super pigmented, so I wanna use a really light hand. I think her blushes also have that Upsolite in there that uh helps it to be like matte so this would work um using along with your creams or you could use this on top of your powder either way it will work but i want to put it underneath the powder that way we can sort of tone down the pigment if it's if the pigment gets too crazy. Next up is a product I'm super excited to use. Hadn't used it yet. So this is the Ami Cole Loose Powder. I've heard amazing things about this, but it's always sold out on their website as well as on Sephora. So I just went ahead and ordered it on Amazon, but it's supposed to be super blurring and like a flawless powder. Now it comes in, I wanna say like four different shades. I got translucent because it's the one that's always sold out so I assumed it was the best and I tend to use translucent powders more than any other shade anyways and it has this sort of cover on the inside of it and you just pop that right open so as much powder that's right here you definitely need this cover so that was a nice touch oh feels super soft like dust feels like soft dust like softer than baby powder Wanted to start off with a really thin layer. So for brows, we're gonna do LYS. I'm going in with my Secure Brow from LYS. Thank you. 
and the LYS brow gel. My Pat McGrath eyeshadow primer. Pat McGrath is definitely a brand that I wanna explore a little bit more. I do have her foundation, which I like. It's a really lightweight foundation. It's almost like a skin tint, sort of sheer to light coverage. When it first came out, it was like one of my go-tos. One of my favorite, this is probably like my top three eyeshadow palettes that happens to be black owned. This is the Juvia's Place Coffee Shop palette. It literally has every shade you need. Fenty Beauty Mascara, which is one of my go-tos. This is probably my most used mascara. The cream bronzer from LYS I use is also my one of my most used products as well. My LYS highlighter, this one's in the shade Aim High. Going in with my LYS lip liner, this one is in the shade Driven. Overlining with my Juvia's Place pencil, this one's in the shade Cola. Fenty's Gloss Bomb and Fussy on top. It smells so good. It smells like, like sweet fruit. LYS Finishing Spray. So this is the final look. Comment down below, let me know what are some of your favorite black owned makeup products or just beauty products in general. Do wanna show you guys my new handbag. I was sent over a handbag from Teddy Blake that is really nice and I wanna show it to you guys. So I'll see y'all in the living room. Hey y'all, so I'm ready to go. I decided to go with all black because it's simple and I'm trying to get out of the door. But let me show y'all my bag. Some of you guys have already seen it because I did an unboxing on the YouTube Shorts. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. But let me show you the box that it came in. Really nice luxe box, super sturdy. Just gives, just gives luxury. Like, look at that. So it does come in this dust bag which I do like to store my bags in dust bags to keep the dust off of them and here it is so I opted for the Gigi Stambino with the gold accents on it really really cute y'all so if you can see the hardware is gold and then the Teddy Blake writing is in gold I just love their handbags. I actually went to the Teddy Blake store at North Park Mall in Dallas. If it wasn't last year, it was the year before last. They have shoes and other things too. So the way this one works is this sort of flap goes over here and here, and then it does have this little tab and the tab actually connects on top. And that's how you secure it. So I've been basically, cause I've already been wearing it. <laughs> so I've been basically keeping it like unlatched so I can get in it easier. And it is genuine leather. So it's made out of Italian leather and it does have really nice craftsmanship, which is super important for me, especially when I'm buying luxury. And the inside is actually suede and it does have a zipper on the inside of it as well. And it's a really big, nice size. 
So you can fit everything in here. It does come with a leather strap that you can attach on the sides, but honestly, I prefer to use the handles here. But if you need to, like, I feel like if I'm in the airport or something, I probably use the strap, but just for like fashion girl purposes, I like to just hold it by the top handles and I absolutely love top handle bags. So that's why I did choose this one as well. I love a good top handle bag, but it's really classy and classic. This is one of those handbags that you'll be able to wear now, 20 years from now and 20 years ago. Teddy Blake does currently have 60% off, I wanna say, on their website. So I do want to encourage you guys to visit teddyblake.com and check that out. I'll also put the link in the description box. And also they did give me a discount code. So you get $30 off with discount code TBAREL30, I wanna say, but I'll put it across the screen in case you guys are interested. So I I do want to thank Teddy Blake for sending this over to me and for giving you guys a discount code. Okay, y'all, so here's the outfit. Can y'all tell that I've lost a little weight? Can y'all? I've actually really been working out, y'all. I didn't start when I when I did my um, workout video, my uh, fitness goals video, I think the first week in January. I didn't start then. I did a little bit, but I fell off. But the past couple weeks, I've been into it to the point I'm enjoying it now. So that's how I know I'm sticking to it. And I'm still using my Yeso bike. So I do have an update coming up. I really want to update y'all because I switched out the seat on it to make it more comfortable and I'm enjoying the ride so much better. But this is what I'm wearing. It's a bodysuit. It's like an all-in-one bodysuit um, that came from Fashion Nova. And then this jacket, it's like a jacket slash shirt. It's like cotton and you can sort of fix the top part however you want to. And this came from Ross. So I just did like a half zip up situation. You can do it open or you can zip it all the way and just kind of have this up here. So I just kind of did it this way and it does have the leather sleeves and then the back of it is leather as well. And then the boots are um, shoots. I think that's how you say it, shuts from shuts. I ordered them from Saks last winter, um, but they do have some similar to this at Target uh, cause I don't think they have them at shuts anymore. For fragrance, I feel like the last couple times we did a get ready with me, I did this fragrance combo, but I'm loving it. And it is still February. So let's go black owned with Exalté from Fumi Monet. Y'all, it smells so good. It's like a vanilla rose scent. And then we're gonna mix it in with one of my favorite vanillas. This is like vanilla and juniper berry. A little spicy, but not enough spice to really talk about it, but it's really nice. This one is from MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold. This combo together just smells amazing. So, oh, y'all, I smell so good with my Teddy Blake bag. It's really comfortable. It's not heavy. I thought it was going to be heavy because I do prefer smaller bags, but um, they did give me a choice to pick. And I'm glad I went with this one. I can fit a lot of stuff and it's not heavy at the same time. Let me latch it up. So yeah, I love this. All right, y'all, let's get out of here. Cause two friends with the sky